Hello folks, welcome to Hiking with Rot, number, I think 12 maybe, I'm always wrong so it'll probably be either episode 11 or 12, but whatever, it is a beautiful and a raging hot day today on the uh, 21st here of July. Well, I know I promised y'all uh, some new locations, but due to not looking over my shoulder two times, I did not get my license back as expected. <sighs> so, gotta wait 10 more days. 10 more days, and I goddamn guarantee you, I will be getting this one. I'm gonna start right off the bat every fucking day by pulling on me. Hey, ugh, I don't know why she doesn't get this isn't about her and her pissing every three feet. See that right there, stop. Dude. So today I got a uh, little two joint package from Emerald Coast, my favorite weed store in the whole god world. And let's see, sit. Sit. If you keep fucking with me. What the fuck did I do with it? So always I have far too many pockets. Ah, there it is. So I bought some road tripping. It is, uh, oh, let's see, what do we got here? It is, I does not have a name for them. They're just flower pre-rolls. Hmm. Anyways, we'll see how these burn. Strawberry fields. Of course, there's always an indica. I suppose we're trail tripping. That'll be fine. I'm trying not to oversaturate with too much material. At the same time, there's a few people that seem to be enjoying these. I've also, come on, nice packaging. Get that little guy out of there. Rolled with raw papers, of course, because the whole world is rolled with raw papers. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Looks like this bad fucking boy lady up. that works at the weed store made me this shirt. I asked for black and red. Got it. Little, little lighter in the red spectrum than I would like, but it is what it is. It's fucking awesome. I've been wanting a fucking, what I call a hippie shirt, black and red for years, and uh, she did and does amazing fucking work. I'm gonna commission another one from her. I want one with uh, black and orange. But as always, I hate these fucking spleef style fucking stupid tip joint papers. See if it'll burn even or not. There's the one thing I gotta say about my juicy joints. Oh, they always, oh, here we go. Nice hit right off the bat. Heady. Tasting a little bit more on the leaf side of things. But it was two of these bad boys, these half grammars for fucking six bucks, eight bucks. That's not a bad deal. Emerald Coast Cannabis. Hopefully somewhere I might be uh, gainfully employed in. Soon, one would hope. It's really smooth. Let's give the high a second to kick in here. Mmm, it's definitely a creeper. I like creepers, being one myself. Got licked a joint. Because, of course, she is running. See? Running like a bitch. I don't really care much about things. Everything that I own, I like to say I got either because I asked somebody to make it for me, it was a gift, or, you know, or. Things that mean stuff. 
uh, charms. What are they called? Uh, not trinkets. Fucking, I don't know. Ah, all right. Right off the bat, this this joint's crawling up the uh skill. <coughs> It immediately lost it uh, due to the run, but it actually seems to be catching up to itself nicely. And uh, here comes the high, which is ah, uh, top of the head, going down the spine, touching all the places of my brain that I like to touch. <sighs> so good news, maybe, if you care, which based on most of the analytics, you don't. Um, Rockcast will be coming back out here soon. My buddy Jeff of Jeff's Basement will be letting me use his studio, hopefully, so once a week I can start doing my little podcast show with guests and everything again. Oh, look, and now she has completely returned to birding perfectly. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, just escalated herself to four. Uh, we'll wait till we're finished to see. I always end up buying a gram anyways, and then just smoking half that gram. So the two point fivers actually seem more practical. More practical. I learned a very valuable lesson about making sure shit was backed up, which I know better. It was just a fupa. I deleted one thing so that I could make room for another, and it assumed that it had been backed up already. Huge shout out to Nick Eubanks, Jeff Hill, and his lovely wife, Jennifer Hill, and Daniel Cole for all coming to my very first comedy show. Um, I appreciate hardcore all your guys' support. I really do. And Dan, you know, uh, Dan has helped me. He designed the Dire Sin logo. He's working on a Hiking for Rot logo for this show. Love some suggestions. Yeah, I mean, anybody's open to that. It's just Dan's got the experience. And he's got a really good eye. Like a really good eye for, like, merchandising art. And, of course, Jeff, my brother from another mother, my fellow podcaster, <clears throat> His show is taking off. It's killing it. While mine is just sitting here stagnating. Stagnating. And it's not even a word. All right. That, that. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. Uh, <coughs> all right. Yeah. <coughs> We're going <gonna, coughs> to give this bad boy 4.5. Uh. <laughs> uh, definitely so <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. Yeah. So Jeff. And they are. I guarantee you, some of the only people that are actually gonna watch this. So that's why they're the only people that get shout outs for this one. And uh like just now I just decided that. No more shout outs to people that don't shout out to the fucking rot or show up because I show up and I shout out to shout out, show up, fucking show down. I'm also very intrigued, according to Sean Pickering of Straight Outta Kitsap Comedy, one of the funniest guys I know and a promoter who's all heart and also a movie producer in training, but still, um, what was I saying? Shiva, you fucking distracted me with the pulling on the leash. Yep, and now you're wrapped up in it. Moment with Shiva, guys. Brought to you by the stupidest fucking dog of the smartest breed. Ugh. Some of you may think I'm too hard on Shiva. Well, you weren't there for the last fucking 10 and a half, 11 years of perfect leash etiquette. All of a sudden, gone out the wind. Oh, she's just pouting. I don't fucking care. She's my dog. That makes me her master. People who don't get that annoy me, but whatever. Enjoy your fucking dogs. So, I enjoy hating mine. Huh, Tiva dog. What a beautiful fucking day. 
I will say this, this shirt is a thousand percent cooler than everything I own. Because <laughs> everything I own is thick black cotton with usually fucking some metal band shit on it, which makes it even hotter. All right, well that joint has gone the way of the dodo bird. And it just got a lot prettier out here. Da -da. Right, let's see, I'll go ahead and, uh, how long has this one been? That's five minutes. All right. <laughs> so, well, if you didn't try to walk in front of me, that doesn't happen. That's why I have the leash set up that way. That's how the leash has always been set up. So just quit trying to walk in front of me because you're not the pack leader. Ah. So, yeah. So, go ahead and uh, call it good. That was a good hiking with Rot. Shout out to Jeff's Basement. Shout out to Talk Interference Sports. Shout out to Dan the Wizard Cole. Shout out to Comedy Kids App. Check that out. It's got a whole bunch of stuff there you can find. And shout out to you, motherfucker, if you're actually watching this. I appreciate it. You want to come on a hike? Come on a hike. Email me or get a hold of me. Remember, it's me you're dealing with, so it might take me several reminders. No, I'm kidding. I really want to do this, dude. It'd be fun. And then I don't, the show will be longer and better because I'm just sitting here talking to myself. I do that all the time. <sighs> Hiking with Rot. All right, I'm going to get some B footage here. Take care. Stay tuned. Watch Dinner for Dad. Died, have been returning it's also on the Diary of Sin Productions. Of murder. Medical like authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases, the killers, the killers are eating flesh. 4.5 hours. Repeating this latest bulletin just received moments ago from Cumberland, Maryland. Civil defense authorities have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers.